Other than uh, Uzair, is anyone present? Yes, ma'am. Tell me about the last lecture, which we discussed in the last, last lecture, quickly. क्या डिस्कस किया था हमने क्या हमने की प्रैक्टिस की थी लास्ट लेक्चर लेटर्स के बारे में पढ़ा था लेटर्स किस तरह फॉर्मल लेटर्स बिजनेस लेटर्स किस तरह कंपोज करते हैं मैम हमने वो जो लेटर था ना बिजनेस लेटर उसको जो रिकमेंडेड लेटर है वो डिजाइन करने के उस लेटर के जो कंपोनेंट्स होते हैं वो डिस्कस किए थे ओके कैन एनीवन टेल मी अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स एसेंशियल कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द लेटर लेट मी आस्क माय सेल्फ Navid, are you present, uh, Navid? Hey, yes, ma'am. Okay, tell me about the uh, component, essential component yeah. letters. First of all, ma'am, introduction of the letter, then body, and then ending, ma'am. It may include a sub, sub of that. So, ma'am, there is some distortion around me, so. Okay, that's do you cannot explain more, huh? Yes. Challenging. Yes. Thank you. So, um, Salia, what are the other essentials of the letter? Ma'am, the heading, uh, the recipient address, and then we add the salutation, body, um, starting, introduction, discussion, ending, and um signature closure and we put date and day where there is, there is necessary very good so uh, mirza mohammed yes ma'am so for us um uh, letter ke eight essential parts hote hain unme hota hai uh, writer's address hota hai date hoti hai religious address hota hai salutation hota hai text hota hai aur complimentary close hota hai signature hota hai aur typed name hota hai very good well done so now you have an idea and i hope that you have designed the letter according to that so um yes, mubin mubin also has has also raised his hand mubin yes ma'am same answer was writer's address date readers address and then uh, uh, salutation and then the body of the letter and then in the end we complimentary closing and uh, uh, full type name well and uh, yes. uh, now you tell yes, me and uh, traits of technical communication what are the other traits of technical communication ma'am conciseness and clarity very good conciseness clarity accessible also okay now we are proceeding towards the another important uh like aspect of tel uh, 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 written communication and now telecommunication kya isko kehte hain uh, e communication or internet communication email writing now this email writing has uh, replaced uh, uh, traditional uh, letter writing or uh, because it is more quick instant and uh, reliable also uh, so therefore it could not be edited iski ek aur bahut khoobsurat baat hai it could not be manipulated so therefore email writing or in, in the developing countries email writing is like uh, uh, has already flourished or has already developed or has already like uh, being in used from for many many years back but up pakistan or the under developed countries may be it has also uh, become very common uh, commonly used kind of communication as Lydia Ramsey says in 2007 that an email is as much a part of our professional image as the clothes we wear. So, आपके professional image में जिस तरह आप कपड़े पहनते हैं किस तरह के that will create the that will develop the image of your background, your training. Similarly, the 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 type of email you write that can show your uh you know, that will create an image in the eyes of your uh, reader the postal letters we write the greetings on our voicemail 
and the handshake we offer. So you can see how much important the, this email writing is. Okay, it could be like the is as important as the letters we write, as a, as we re greet each other verbally every day, and the handshake we offer uh, in in routine lives. So this is how this email has become more and more important. So can anyone read the slide, please? Yes, ma'am. Email is the is the telecommunication exchange of computer text messages. It may, in addition to plain text messages, also include attachments of text and non-text files, for example, graphic images and sound files, programs and spreadsheets, etc. Some of the benefits of email are that not only it is cheaper and faster than a letter, but less intrusive than a phone call. It can be sent to individual and to a list of people as well. A message can be accessed from any computer with an internet connection, replied to automatically, and stored for future review. So, an email is a computer text message. It exchanges information through computer telecommunication. It's a type of telecommunication. Uh, it may it's ki sabse badi utility ek aur bhi hai that it may include uh, you can say uh, documents files images or any other related material agar aap letter likhte hain to you need a lot of like uh, hard copies or of a lot of things so rather than that doing that we could do that we could send email along with attachments or documents so they are safer also or they could uh, like um, they could be transferred without any time wastage or more effort. So it is instant, quick, reliable, and as well as uh, less expensive. Or you can say without a keyboard, you have to just need uh, internet connection and your email could be sent. Some of the um, and one advantage is most cheaper and faster. And your uh, it can be like a uh, uh, so a core advantage here that it is it remains with you. For instance, I was just mentioning earlier that I have a lot of I you can say a lot is just a library of books with me, who which was which were sent by my uh, my teacher or head of department from PU. Whenever I teach any subject, I ask him to, to refer some books. So he he sends me a lot of books and material, reading material, and it it I do not have to like print them or take buy them or take hard copy of them. It always it always remains with me. And whenever I teach different subjects, I consult that bank or my library, and I found everything in my email. So as I keep on consulting them, I open them. I use, I keep on saving them. So this way, say I have a lot of. Uh, material uh, like saved in my emails. So that is how emails are so important. Otherwise, if you get prints and you get, it takes a lot of money as well as a lot of space and a lot of energy to do all those things. So uh, with the passage of time, uh, initially we used to have books when we used to study. Then when we, when we studied and there were notes were given, provided by our teachers, up now we are now we send our uh, notes on through emails or uh, on online send kar dete. so so you all have the reading materials with you without waste uh, spending money or in, uh, things other things also so that is how these things are important can you read The register of an email, how formal or informal it is, depends on the type of message and who is it writing written for. An inquiry apology or an email to a new customer is a more formal than an email about rescheduling a meeting. 
Okay. So now the most important thing in this first two lines, can you analyze kya sabse the important cheez hai? The register of an email, how formal or informal it is, depends on the type of message who is written, who it is, who is it written for. क्या मैसेज है इसमें मैम ईमेल जो है वो हम ऑडियंस के लिए हाथ से जो है वो ऑर्गेनाइज करेंगे सो ईमेल वी विल लाइक वेरी गुड द मेन पॉइंट इन दिस मैसेज इज दैट द फॉर्मेलिटी और इनफॉर्मेलिटी डिपेंड्स अपॉन द टाइप ऑफ ऑडियंस और एड्रेसी वी हैव वी आर गोइंग टू राइट एन ईमेल और मैसेज so this is the thing we can say uh, we can analyze from this uh, sentence then then the next thing is point is whether it could be the purpose the first thing is your audience then the second thing is your purpose of writing it that might be your inquiry that might be a apology that might be a request that might be something else or an email to a new customer the all these emails are more formal than an email about rescheduling a meeting so there might be a different type of uh, level of formalities you need to uh, like uh, include while designing your emails so these are different uh, types of email he has mentioned here next thing is the length of an email what would be a length of an email please read bear in mind that some people receive and read hundreds of email communication every day use short simple sentences long sentences and complex syntax are difficult to read and understand use the technique of paraphrasing and consistency if you have a number of points to make stick to a b c r one i one two i r whichever style you prefer okay ji so uh, we have to keep this thing in our mind while designing our email first of all humne bhi baat ki the um, audience and then the purpose for that thing we need to do is we hamare paas letter ki tarah email writing mein bahut ek pura page bhi nahi available hota even half of the pages is, is, is considered too long so we have very short space when we design email <coughs> जब हम लंबी ईमेल डिजाइन करते हैं तो दैट लुक्स लाइक नोट्स और सम रीडिंग मटेरियल समथिंग लाइक दैट तो दैट इज नॉट दैट डजंट लुक गुड और फॉर्मल सो वी नीड टू डू ए बट वी नीड टू डू इज वी वी शुड शूट शॉर्ट सिंपल सेंटेंसेस और कॉम्प्लेक्स सिंटेक्स मतलब कॉम्प्लेक्स ग्रामर और मेक्स योर सेंटेंस और थिंग्स योर रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड मोर डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड as i have um, kai bar i i discussed this thing i used to have a very good student and he, he used to abhi bhi mere paas aayo i had a very good student and she sent me a message you can not believe i have had to like consult dictionary to read that few lines whatsapp message because she had used so much difficult uh, vocabulary by which was not required for that message if you are sending me a request for something you should not complicate it that much that you that your reader will be in trouble and for understanding three lines message it will take a lot of time to like consult or try uh, like look synonyms or the word, meanings of the words or this or that so aapne aapne apne audience ke mutabik ek to email design karni hai secondly you have to employ short sentences or less difficult sentences or uh, easy grammar simple uh, sentence use kare rather than using complicated tenses use a technique of paraphrasing and consistency consistency jo hoti hai na jaise wo kehte hai na ek flow mein baat chal rahi hoti hai hum log zindagi mein bhi ek baat in your practical life in your daily routine we so sometimes we like uh, um give this comment that the person is very consistent and stable so stability means that your thing is has not ups and downs 
you have a have a have a good flow a command and control over your language so for that purpose what you do is you you keep your message consistent shorten shorten means precise precise means not it doesn't mean precise it doesn't mean that you uh, like delete a uh, lot of information it should be to the point but in in some uh, in a in a more appropriate way rather than using a lot of thing but uh, in order to have uh, like using the ticking of paraphrasing or rephrasing we could like avoid unnecessary information we could avoid prepositional phrases we could use uh, active voice rather than passive voice we can, could use like uh, delete or omit on uh, like additional phrases or clauses so there are so many things which we can do we could simplify it uh, or we could design it according to the requirement and if you have points stick to the uh, like 1 2 3 like this any type style of right uh, the numbering you want to choose but you can like in order to uh, rather than designing a lot of uh, paragraphs in your email you can bullet uh, bullet form mein likh de aur unko point form mein likh de if you have more things or uh, precisely then subject as um, when we were discussing letters i uh, i would already told you that subject i always preferred uh, to write a letter with the subject but rather than you can say i do not write letter without a subject even because your subject can determine the purpose as well as the like uh, create the readers interest also can anyone read the slide please anyone from the girl side minahil are you here yes ma'am kindly read the slide please subject a subject is writing the entire content which you have written in the letter or a single letter make sure you write the subject whenever you write something be it in email or letter use a subject line that summarizes clearly the content of the message it does not need to be a complete sentence but make it simple and straightforward done manahil ma'am privacy laga de kisi ne remove kar diya oh i'm so sorry bad attitude was said this is इधर ऑप्शन क्यों नहीं आ रही जी मोहसिन मैम आपने एज आ टंडी ज्वाइन की है आप इसकी प्राइवेसी अपडेट नहीं कर सकती राखी बरूज एज ऑर्गेनाइजर आ रहा है इधर तो वो कर सकता है बट व्हाई आई हैव सेंड यू एन इनविटेशन सो हाउ कुड दे हाउ इट कुड बी लाइक दिस मैं ये तो पता नहीं परमिट नहीं है इसलिए स्टार्ट किया तो वो ऑर्गेनाइजर है मैं स्टार्ट भी मीटिंग उसी ने की थी आपने बाद में एज एन अटेंडी ज्वाइन की थी बट आई हैव सेंड यू मीटिंग इनविटेशन आपको नहीं मिला मैम ये पहले की थी स्केड्यूल थी 12:30 पर स्टार्ट तो नहीं थी लेकिन वो राकिब ने पहले ही स्टार्ट कर दी थी ये पता नहीं वो कह रहा था कि वो खुद ही स्टार्ट हो गई थी मुझे भी नहीं पता नहीं मैंने आपको फ्रॉम 12 टू 1:30 मैंने भेजा हुआ इनविटेशन आई डोंट नो बहरहाल राकिब आप उसको प्राइवेसी में लेके जाएं प्लीज इज राकिब हियर मैम ज्वाइन तो की हुई है उसने लेकिन पता नहीं फिजिकली प्रेजेंट है या नहीं आपको ये कहना चाहिए मेंटली भी प्रेजेंट है कि नहीं यू हैव नो आईडिया अबाउट इट और एट द एंड पता क्या होता है इन बच्चों ने क्या करना होता है इनके इनके जब रिजल्ट्स नहीं ना आते तब इन्होंने टीचर्स को कहना कहते हैं 
कि जी मैम हमें नंबर दे दें हमें ये आ, सारी क्लासेस में तो हम अवेलेबल थे सारी एक्टिविटीज तो हमने भेज दी थी चाहे राइट और लेफ्ट और आ, कहीं से भी उठा लेंगे आई आई नो ऑल द रिक्वेस्ट यू आर लाइक लाइक सेंडिंग हेयर एंड देयर सो आपको एक बात मैंने अभी सेक्शन जी से भी क्लियर कर ली है आपकी सेक्शन सी से पूछिएगा ये जो भी सेक्शन मैंने अभी तक पढ़ाए हैं आपके सिविल में आज दैम हाउ मच डिटेल्ड फीडबैक आई गेव दैम मे बी थोड़ा लेट दिया है बट फाइनल में आप यू कैन सी हाउ मच वट काइंड ऑफ फीडबैक दे हैव रिसीव्ड आई हैव चेकड ईच एंड एवरी थिंग सो एवरी थिंग आई एम फेमिलियर विद आई एम फेमिलियर विद देयर वर्क ईच एंड एवरी वर्क एंड इफ यू विल कॉपी देयर वर्क इफ यू विल लेक टेक यूज देयर असाइनमेंट्स यू विल नॉट आप मुझसे पूछे रोल नंबर से साफ पूछ के बता के आपने किस रोल नंबर की कौन सी असाइनमेंट मुझसे पूछनी है आई कैन टेल यू विदाउट इवन कंसल्टिंग देयर वर्क किस के किस बच्चे की कौन सी रिपोर्ट थी आई हैव चेक देम एट लीस्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन टाइम्स ईच एंड एवरी रिपोर्ट और एवरी वर्क सो इफ यू विल बी लाइक लुकिंग फॉर द वर्क और फॉर द हेल्प और द सपोर्ट विदाउट मेकिंग एफर्ट यू विल नॉट गेटिंग मार्क्स only one student got a star wo bhi on the on the request that he will improve his work further or he has worked hard so that is why he received he, he scored one a star in seven whereas in mechanical a lot of students got a stars and a's maine to unko phir bhi chand ko b diye the other teachers has given lot, most of the them most of them a's or a stars now you can see the difference why they are getting a stars i i i do not even familiar i was not even familiar with their faces because ab start hi hua tha covid started and we had this online sessions i could like or uh, they 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 could they hardly participated in the classes but when it comes to their assignments and their work they were so perfect and properly designed so that is why i am telling you that it's a request pay attention to your work uh, can any uh, is rakib awake or not rakib aruj uzair agar if he, if he is present here don't mark him uh, uh, is uh, like uh, presence okay ma'am okay ji where were we subject ma'am subject ji please uh, ki ji kya keh rahe hain yes ma'am i was saying we were uh, at the subject okay so kindly do uh, uh, refrain from uh, like uh, um, sending anyone out of the class please aap is isko avoid kare if you will do it i will like uh, main aapki class i will increase the time of the class and i will not mark anyone present okay ji so sir read the slide please okay ma'am uh, a subject is writing the entire content which you have written in the letter in a single line make sure you write the subject whenever you write something be it an email or letter use a subject line that summarizes clearly the content of the message it doesn't does not need to be a complex and complete sentence but make it simple and straightforward in a business email repeat the subject line in the body of the email beneath the salutation the length of the subject line varies from 6 to 10 words it makes no sense to send a message with no subject since it seems to be about nothing ओके आपने कभी ईमेल आई एम श्योर आपने डिजाइन की होगी एंड यू कुड हैव सीन दैट यू व्हेन यू सेंड अ मैसेज विदाउट राइटिंग अ सब्जेक्ट द द कंप्यूटर विल आस्क यू वेदर यू आर श्योर दैट यू आर सेंडिंग इट विदाउट अ सब्जेक्ट सो नाउ यू कैन सी हाउ इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मे बी जब एक और बात आप हमेशा याद रखिए कि आप जब कभी किसी को ईमेल भेजते हैं रिमेंबर दिस थिंग the person might be like encountering or like dealing with a lot of hundreds or maybe uh, in 20s or 30s 40s 
uh, take around about 30, 40, 50 emails daily. So if you will not send them with the subject, they might think that that might be mistakenly sent or it has nothing to do with them. So professionals, Johanna, they have only one thing in with them, and that is a short short of time. And they have they do not they do not have time for layer or like entertaining every email without uh, or putting a lot of effort. So Jabab, or especially when they are going to uh, give you benefit or some uh, advantage, so they will they will not uh, waste their time in uh, like. And, and, uh, and spending or uh, like investing in that email, Therefore, subject line is very important in letter or email because it will determine the nature of your message and the purpose of your message. And it will tell the reader whether the, it, it is, whether he sh or she should proceed with the email or not, and whether you they could help you in this regard or not. Therefore, one subject line is very important. And the word, very, like uh, the number of words could be from six to 10. And if you will send the email without subject matter, it seems that it is about nothing. It's just a random email. So, and the subject line should be clearly stated and it should not be like uh, incomplete or uh, it should not be, you can say, uh, so difficult to understand. It should match the purpose of your intended purpose of your email. For instance, a big email and he wanted to, to write about the change of department in UET. And but the subject was admission UET something. So agar email admission UET Lahore. And um when you read the subject, admission UET Lahore, what would you get uh, through this subject? Exactly. So that should be rephrased. That is not very uh, according to the standard of the writing. Admission UET law is not properly stated. Again, you will get the wrong message admission that might not be the season of admission, not, not be the time of season, uh, admission. So it should not be entertained, forget it, so when you read the email, you come to know that it's not about getting admission, it's about the changing of your departments. So that is how, how the subject line is so important. Please read it quickly. Here's an example of a subject line that says uh, too much. Our research shows that emailing customers twice a month can lead to optimal open rates. A better subject line would be how often should you email customers? It poses an interesting question without giving away the answer. So the recipient is more likely to open the email to find out. Uh, just a moment, please. Hello, Gina. G. So we were discussing this statement. It um, it says too much. For instance, our search shows that emailing customer twice a month can lead to optimal open rates. So it is quite complicated to understand for a normal person. So it, it our search shows it has nothing to do with the uh, with other or other people. What your research shows, because research is always been like uh, happening for every uh, aspect of your profession. So, aapko idhar batane ki zarurat nahi. First of all, we could delete this thing. Ki hamari research kya kehti hai. The next point is emailing customer twice a uh, month can lead to a good result. So, we could say how often should you email customers or email. Uh, uh, emailing customers 
uh, twice a month can uh, can lead to a good result or something like that or how often should you email customers that could be a better subject line as compared to the previous one if you will see that is of two sentences or quite difficult or unnecessary things are also included in that so rather than that it poses an interesting question without giving away an answer aapko pata hai ki questions ko kya kehte hain which can like uh, uh, which, which which includes uh, answer in it already uh, con- uh, contains answer us question ko kya kehte hain ma'am frequently asked questions faqs no rhetoric questions is a uh, stylistic device और राइटिंग डिवाइस और टेक्निक होती है जो हम आंसर उसके जो सवाल होते हैं ना उसको जवाब की जरूरत इट 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 सेल्फ हैज इट्स इट्स ओन आंसर सो सो दैट इज आल्सो अ गुड टेक्निक व्हिच यू कुड एम्प्लॉय इन योर राइटिंग इसको आगे आप बड़े मिगे भी सो द रिसिपिएंट इज मोर लाइकली टू ओपन द ईमेल टू फाइंड आउट सैल्यूटेशन सो सब्जेक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट um design it in a simple way and clear way because you have to deal with the subject in your uh, email content okay you have to mention it yeah, when you discuss when you write the ex- the actual message of your email now the salutation jaldi se jaldi padhiye please no one okay from the girl side in more traditional sectors like banking and education for example changes have been a lot less drastic in these fields emails and letters still start with dear <coughs> uh, dear doc, uh, dr and and in sincerely yours anything less is considered unfitting in these cases the more traditional approaches are definitely the best to start with especially if you are writing to someone in a higher position if you then end up in a longer correspondence with same person it is possible for the subsequent emails to become less formal in tone but be careful to let your recipients dictate the level of formality okay ji so uh, as i have uh, discussed earlier that the more uh, traditional and formal we are the more uh, uh, ethical the, uh, the message is so abhi tak we are more towards the traditional approach we are sh- still prov- uh, like following the traditional approach and the standard approach especially the field of education field of banking the field of profession our profession so you still are like uh, like following the same path for instance we start with dear doctor and this and you sincerely yours so uh, other than this will be less uh, for pairs uh, sounds like less formal so uh, maybe you might be like when you have a longer interaction your level of formality may be reduced but do not lose the grip okay, do not the uh, other person uh, like uh, become that much less informal which you which could look would sound very chatty or very informal or as you are friends business relations has nothing to do with friendship or informality so are uh, you could be like sometimes friendly or less informal but do not lose that uh, connection of formality with within your business or professional setup so salutations are like this formal ending or sol salutation ki baat kar rahe hain for instance salutation when you write down just a salutation you are writing for a female you might know about it and uh, if you might know about it and you, you don't know what is the status of that female whether she is miss misses or someone else so you write ms for miss or misses it it goes with both the statuses and if you uh, as i have already told you that if you are writing to more than one man you could write uh, messes this and this or uh, you can write if you know the title or the uh, of the person or the, the qualification of the person then you could write engineer or doctor or captain something like that if you don't know if you're not sure about it 
There is no need to write it. I include it. So if you know it, you could write it. So there are other uh, formal words which uh, like respected, dear, or some um, honorable. Bahut rare use, kam use hota hai, but most of the time we use these two, these two words or some other words maybe. So, but uh, while designing your salutation, you have to be very conscious about it. Ki whether you, but uh, that you are going to address the right person and in the in a right way. G. Formal. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to hearing when you are planning to do this. G. मैम कॉन्फ्रेंस स्टूडेंट जो है वो मुझे टेक्स्ट कर रहे हैं कि जुमा पढ़ना है तो लेक्चर कब तक खत्म होगा 1:30 जुमे का टाइम वैसे भी 1:30 के बाद ही सवा 1 होता है जुमा बेटा मैं तो फिर जुमा रह जाएगा क्यों बेटा आपके सराउंडिंग्स में और कोई जुमा नहीं होता मैम सर्दियों के दिन ऐसे ही जाने वाले मैंने आप लोगों से मैंने आप लोगों से पूछ के 1:30 का टाइम रखा था नो मैम हमने आपको टेक्स्ट भी किया है हमने ग्रुप में बोला था लेकिन आप बात नहीं मैंने उसके बाद देखा नहीं मगर आप लोगों की तरफ से रिप्लाई आया था यस का तभी मैंने फिर ये किया है मैसेज मैंने उसके बाद नहीं चेक किया ग्रुप अच्छा आपने लिखा है उजैर ने अभी बट आई वाज अभी आपने ट्वेल्थ फिफ्टीन पे लिखा है अभी देखिए आपने पहले दो बच्चों ने लिखा है तो मैंने फिर आई हैव सीन ओनली दोज मैसेजेस चलो अभी देख लेते हैं जिसका जुमा है वन फिफ्टीन पे वो फिर चला जाए दैट इज हिज मर्जी बट जितना हम कर सकते उतना तो कर लेते हैं ठीक है कब तक आपका जुमा स्टार्ट होगा मैम सवा एक से स्टार्टिंग टाइम शुरू होता है सवा एक डेढ़ आगे मतलब मैम साढ़े तीन तक तो आप मुझे पहले बता देते वी कुड हैव दिस क्लास आफ्टर जुम्मा जल्दी से इसको थोड़ा सा खत्म करते हैं जल्दी टेन मिनट में um for formal ending i look forward this thing and you can read if you will get time read the slides and informal let, uh, ending might be love yours take care hope to hear you from uh, hope to hear from you soon now you could see i look forward to hearing from you and hope to hear you from you soon so what is the difference between these two that the upper the earlier one Uh, sounds a uh, bit formal where the second one sounds informal from you soon wale wale jo hai to you can analyze it afterward also <clears throat> sign of and valediction valediction means it is considered appropriate to end with an informal sign of your sincerely kind regards and best wishes are used by most people always always close with your name and even though it is included at the top of the email because why we, we should include our name at the end of the email when we sign off kyu why it is important no one riaz Um, can you repeat the question, please? Why it is why it is important to uh, write your name at the end of your email?
Okay. Ma'am, to by so that yes. So that. No, who is the sender? So that. Ma'am, signature me now. जी साले आप बताएं इट रेफर्स टू हु इज द सेंडिंग द ईमेल यस इट रेफर्स दैट हु इज सेंडिंग द ईमेल एंड समटाइम्स योर ईमेल एड्रेस कंटेन्स योर नेम बट इट डज नॉट गिव यू गिव द राइट नेम बिकॉज़ मैंने अभी आपका नाम पढ़ एक बच्चे का पढ़ा मे बी इन फ्रॉम योर क्लास ऑफ द सेक्शन डी मिर्जा मोहम्मद और आगे जो एक्चुअल नेम वाज ऑलमोस्ट इनविजिबल बिकॉज़ इतना लंबा था तो द कंप्यूटर कुड कुड नॉट शो दैट फुल नेम तो व्हेन आई कॉल्ड हिम फ्रॉम मिर्जा ही सेड माय नेम इज सरफराज सो हाउ हाउ कुड आई कम टू नो दैट फ्रॉम दीस थ्री नेम्स व्हाट इज हिज एक्चुअल नेम वेदर ही हिम इट माइट बी मोहम्मद आई कुड गेस दैट ही माइट बी मोहम्मद एक्चुअली Ji. Someone is moving again and again. Please uh, stop having an attitude. You are grown up now. Yes, very good. Saale, sir, ek tarah se aur tarah se thoda danto. It go aur chhi tarah se. Ma'am, they are showing who they are. They don't know that they are showing the what their values and what how they are have grown up. Yes. Now you. But this, this is an ethical behavior. Actually, right. That this shows the ethics and the manners the person the people are having in the class. That we need to uh, uh, and Rakib is still missing, na? Who is uh, like? Uh, no, ma'am, I am here. This is very bad, Rakib. We are calling you from like the beginning of the class, and now you are saying you are here. Ma'am, I don't know how to become a manager. I'm not sure. I'm trying to put privacy on it, but it's not working. I don't know what happened. 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 So try to like आप इसको इसको करें यहाँ पर जाएं इस जब आपको नजर आ रही है option मैं वो आ रही है मैंने जो permissions लेकिन वो मैं वहाँ पे जाता हूँ तो like देखें वहाँ पे आपका आएगा ये यहाँ पर आपकी allow attendees to unmute और यहाँ पर आपने ये जो ये जो भी जितनी भी चीजें ना उसको सिर्फ आप अपने पर ले जाएं only me पर do it right now quickly ऐसे करके भी हमें सेव करना है कैन यू सी ना दिस इज सो बैड दैट दे दैट यू यू आर टीजिंग द गर्ल्स और स्पेशली यू आर रिमूविंग एंड नाउ जुनेरा हैज सेंड मी अ मैसेज दैट फॉर समवन इज रिमूविंग अस अगेन एंड अगेन मैम सिर्फ गर्ल्स की भी कर रहे हैं सब कोई कर रहे हैं मैम हम भी रिमूव हो रहे हैं पता नहीं ये कौन है बार बार हमें भी रिमूव करी जा रहे हैं सब बच्चे 10 10 बार रिमूव हो चुके हैं सो राकेब हैव यू ट्राइड टू डू दैट मैम यस ट्राई किया लेकिन नहीं हो रहा मुझे तो लगता है इसी माशाल्लाह बच्चे ने ना मुझे भी ये अटेंडी बना दिया होगा मैम मैं पहली बार लैपटॉप पे कर रहा हूं तो मुझे I'm I'm sorry to say that I have hardly seen such students, the 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 kind of students you have in your class. No, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. We we are actually sorry. In our class, we all are not like that. One or two girls are like that. They 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 are like that. that he has so much guts that he has removed me even yes ma'am uh, we are actually sorry to you but that's not that ki kon is wajah se wo jo bhi hai usne kon sa baag lana hai no 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 ma'am mujhe na actually mujhe nahi pata main organizer kaise batau mujhe khud nahi pata kaise organizer ban gaya main first time mai laptop pe na wo chala raha tha to pata nahi khud kaise ho gaya hai remove nahi kar raha what you can do is uh or there you have to find it out all of you have to salia you uh, zunaira uzair and uh, uh, all other students 
you have to find it out because we have to look the, uh, for for this boy or jo bhi bachche hain they should teach uh, they should learn manners otherwise if they will not uh, improve themselves right now they will face very bad con- consequences in life they they do not respect their elders they will get the same treatment one day in a bad way aisa hota nahi but when you show disrespect to your teachers even even your colleagues so they feel bad about it and they you will get the same treatment one day and even bad than that because aapki aate aisi develop ho chuki hoti hain aur jo kuch aap kar rahe hote hain ye aap jab bahar ja ke karenge na you will get a bad and harsh treatment from the from the other people they will not think that you have something to do with them hum aapka lihaz karte hain because you are like our children and our students this is so unethical and uh, ye yeah, aisa hoga nahi automatically one day and very soon you will come to know who the boys are and who who is doing all this thing ये आपको अभी पता चल ही जाएगा एंड आई एम श्योर बहुत सारे लोग बच्चों को पता भी होगा एंड इफ यू आर प्रोटेक्टिंग देम यू आर डूइंग बैड थिंग फॉर देम बिकॉज वो ये करते रहेंगे और एंड पर क्या होंगे दे विल डू नथिंग एक्सेप्ट बैड थिंग्स वी आर वी आर एज अ क्लास अशेम दैट दे आर अमंग अस बट मैम वी आर रियली सॉरी नो नो वरीज बट आप बच्चे हैं हमारे और भी 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 लाइक इग्नोर अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वो बच्चों से जैसे हम अपने घर पे बच्चों से करते हैं आई ऑलवेज टेक माय स्टूडेंट एज माय चिल्ड्रन एंड आई ऑलवेज प्रे फॉर देम आल्सो बट ये इस तरह का जब कोई कोई बच्चा करता है आई नो देयर आर सम बैड एग्जांपल्स इन एवरी क्लास बट वो एक दो होते हैं मगर एक सम टाइम दे दे क्रॉस देयर लिमिट इवन अच्छा जी हम जल्दी से इसको बस खत्म करते हैं बिकॉज यू हैव टू गो फॉर जुम्मा and we will start from here but aaj hamara quiz bhi tha so i will see if we'll get time after juma or uh, if you say or we can do it in the next week on monday monday aapke us ko ek ghanta free hai yes i'm sure on monday inshallah okay uh, tell me some time on monday or tuesday so then we can discuss it so we stop it here like on valediction बिफोर दैट के इससे मेरे दिन से पॉइंट निकल जाए कि देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन साइन ऑफ एंड द एंडिंग स्टेटमेंट और क्लोजिंग स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज वैलिडिक्शन इज योर साइन ऑफ एंड क्लोजिंग स्टेटमेंट इज लाइक अ फ्रेज इज इज अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस लाइक आई लुक फॉरवर्ड योर काइंड रिस्पॉन्स आई विल बी वेटिंग फॉर योर आई लू थैंकफुल इफ यू कंसिडर माई रिक्वेस्ट सो इट्स अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस there is valediction is just this phrase just like yours sincerely with best regards and why it is important to write your name in after valediction because your email sometimes does not consist your name clearly and could not show your name clearly so otherwise they might be the reader might get confused what your actual name is so it's better when you write with regards or best regards or sincerely or faithfully so it, it you could you it write your name one more thing if you sign off with your uh, with uh, you start salutation and valediction has connection between each with, with each other if you start if you uh, start your uh, uh, right salutation for instance like um, dear uh, dear sir or dear madam you ends with yours faithfully and you if you are sure about the name you ends with yours sincerely so this is uh, how you uh, work with the formal uh, 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 like uh, uh, letters or emails if you write start uh, if you mention write a salutation in a way like with the, like this dear sir madam yours faithfully and you dear miss uh, miss um, amna miss uh, mr ali or something like if you know you are sure about the name ends with yours sincerely so uh, till here uh, that's it for till here and if you have any question you can ask me any question valediction salutation subject length these are very important in email writing and you can attach even documents with your emails 
बट इट शुड नॉट बी ऑफ दैट मच साइज कि आप साइज कि आप फीमेल को गो इन टू वेस्ट और आउटलुक में चली जाए जंक में चली जाए आर्काइव्स में चली जाए सो दैट विल बी अ वेस्टेज ऑफ टाइम सो ट्राई टू अटैच द लाइक द साइज ऑफ योर डॉक्यूमेंट शुड नॉट बी मोर देन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ योर लैपटॉप और एनीथिंग जो ताकि आपको वायरस भी ना आए और आपका वो उसको जाया भी हो जाए और सर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू डू नॉट बॉदर टू चेक इट अगेन whether this uh, that message has transferred or not so that's it for today and we will have a makeup class in the coming week mari ek aadhi makeup class hogi maybe uzair will tell us more in a better way so till then have a nice weekend and uzair maarti will tell you excuse me ma'am ji मैम कुछ स्टूडेंट्स कह रहे हैं कि शायद आपने डी सेक्शन वालों को बोला कि क्विज एंड पे ही होंगे जब ऑन कैंपस आएंगे नो नॉट एट ऑल हु सेड दैट वी विल हैव क्विज इन द कमिंग मैम मैम आज ही था बट वन पूछ लिया नो 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 इट्स नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाई इफ सेक्शन डी इज सेइंग दैट सो दे माइट बी हैविंग सम मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग उनके साथ तो मेरा मंडे ट्यूसडे की कमिटमेंट है बट अगर हमारी मंडे ट्यूसडे को कोई माने नहीं हो क्लास होती तो वी विल हैव आवर क्विज ऑन वेडनेसडे मैम वेडनेसडे की भी फाइनलाइज कर लें हां वेडनेसडे चलिए ठीक है मैं कर देती फाइनल हो जाएगा बट आप उससे पहले एक क्लास शुड बी अरेंज फॉर आवर मेकर सो देन यू कैन सेंड मी द टाइम ओके मैम ओके वेयर नाउ इट्स योर ड्यूटी टू रिमाइंड मी अगर जहर आपने ना पता है आई विल ओके मैम आपके दो नंबर काट देने मैंने नहीं मैम मैं आपको बता दूंगा नाउ यू आर द लीडर ऑफ द क्लास एंड फाइंड आउट द पर्सन हु हु हैड डन ऑल दिस थिंग ना सो मार्क देयर अटेंडेंस प्लीज हां मैम आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन द स्क्रीनशॉट्स ऑफ द अटेंडेंस ये आप सबसे पहले करते हो जहर थैंक यू वेरी मच हैव अ गुड वीकएंड अल्लाह हाफिज़